Hey everybody, this is Eric Norton, that's Matt Bible, and we have a box of Amalgam, which is what spawned Mountain Dew's Kickstarter, Puppy Monkey Baby, some 20 years later. Yep. All yes, right. indeed. So tell us what this is, buddy. This is uh, basically a trading card product that was released in 1996, and it was basically done in conjunction with the Amalgam comic book series that DC and Marvel together created and they basically took all the different uh, popular superheroes and, and Marvel and DC characters and made amalgamations of them. So as you can see right here on the, on the box, on the pack, we've got Dark Claw, who is an amalgamation from Batman and Wolverine. Awesome. So imagine that movie. That would be insane. So we're, we're doing this uh, because today, Thursday... Um the Batman versus Superman movies coming out. Oh yes, and I'm oh. I'm pumped. Uh, I've already heard that the uh, reactions from critics and fans alike is off the chart. Awesome. So it you know kind of it kind of reversed the trend of everybody being so like oh my goodness they're gonna overwhelm us and it's gonna be horrible. But uh, the tide has quickly turned and people are really looking forward to this movie. Awesome. So. If you can't find it under that title, look for Orphan Fight 2016 and it should be out there. So let's get into this. Now there's an insert set you said? Uh, there's a couple of inserts. There's, there's a canvas insert. All right. There's a, uh, oh, I can't think of it. I'm trying to think of it. It's a, it's, a, it's a mouthful. There we go. We've got an amalgam of Namor and Aquaman. Imagine that. You know, they took the two Aquaman of the each universe okay. and combined the two. <laughs> so we've got Judgment League Avengers. Yep. All right. And these are sticking a little bit. A little bit. Not too bad, though. And here's one more. Here's an amalgam of Moonwing, which is Moon Knight and Nightwing. Um, I'm glad they decided not to go with Night Knight. <laughs> night Knight. Here's a Bizarro Nage. I like, I like the uh, artwork here. Yep. Bizarro and Carnage. Yes. Which is pretty, pretty cool, actually. They, they come up with some really cool combinations. Uh, conspicuously absent from this uh, set is Iron Lantern. Iron Lantern, okay. So I have no idea why they left him out, but um, they did. Here's a power, this is one of the inserts called Power Blast. And it looks like Storm, I think it's Wonder Woman versus, I can't tell who that is. But uh, it's Wonder Woman. There's many amalgamations of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman and Electra, Wonder Woman and Storm together. So, you've just got interesting comments. There's a Wonder Woman Storm amalgamation. We'll just kind of go through this first pack. and Here's a uh, Doctor Doomsday SO, a little ode to the lead villain in the upcoming film, right? Uh, yep, Doomsday. Doomsday. And then you got Doctor Doom. Doom. I like that one. That's pretty cool. So, basically, these are all just people you don't want to meet in a back alley somewhere, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Seeing sparks that looks like Rob. It's supposed to be Robin. It's uh, it's the sparrow, the sparrow, which is a amalgamation of Jubilee and and Robin. Robin. Yep. And Dark Claw in the background there. You can see him looming over. So, so that's the kind of stuff we're looking for in this. You know, just yeah. You know. This is pretty cool. Here's a hologram. Oh, there you go. Hollow picks. I believe this is. Uh, Let's see, da, 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 Spider Boy, Superboy and Spider Man together, um, and to follow that up, there's the regular base card, right in the same pack. Wow, this is a uh, something. Super Soldier Action Five, Ultra Metallo. Yeah, that would be an amalgam of Metallo and Ultron. Yeah. Um, notice, I'm, this is really strange, you, you notice that? Uh, yeah, it's, wow. well, I mean, you know, even though it was 20 years ago, it wasn't really that long ago that right. political correctness really didn't, and you know, this is, this is comics, man, they yeah, don't care comics. about those things. They sure they, don't. They try to get them as, as accurate as they can, according to the, and the reason that's on there is because Ultra Metallo was an agent of Hydra. Yes. So, so the big Nazi symbol right yeah. on the front there, which ah, here we, go. we really wouldn't see today in today at all. No. That's no, uh, Here's PC. a really <laughs> cool canvas card of Dark Claw. There you go. 
it looks like a lot like the canvases that you see in uh, the upper deck hockey products um, but yeah there's a lot of really cool combinations in here some of them are obvious others aren't here's a here's a here's a here's a card of Dark Claw's nemesis the hyena can you take a guess what those two characters are? Joker and think about uh, saber two. There you go. Yep. That's why we need a dark claw film. So DC and Marvel get on that ASAP. Got another a canvas of the same dark. Another claw. dark claw. That's really cool though. Yeah. My son would love that. Here's one my son would love. Uh, Super Soldier, uh, Superman, and Captain America. Which is the most obvious choices, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's pretty cool. So, you know, it's, uh, it's the year of DC and Marvel movies. It is. And, uh, um, the battle begins, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Here is the Speed Demon. A combination of Ghost Rider and Speed Flash. Yes. There we go. Awesome. Speaking of, uh, Marvel versus DC, did you happen to... Watch Daredevil this weekend at all? I, I did not get to watch any of the Daredevil episodes yet. I um, finished it. Did you get finished? It I finished good. it. It was pretty good. Here's a canvas of Spider Boy. It was really good. Uh, not as good as the first season, I didn't think. But there again, not bad either. Still good. Niles Cable. Here is the big question. The big question. I think we can safely assume that the Riddler is the one Riddler. half of that. The other half would be Mr. Kingpin himself. Ah, nice. Very nice. So, Wilson Fisk. <laughs> I have to laugh at this one because it, it really makes me... I look at the artwork and I... I think that the... I think the artist probably did this as an homage. But here is Bruce Wayne, Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now look at his face and tell me who you think that looks like. If you look at his face, for those of you who are fans of the Evil Dead franchise, who do you think that looks? <laughs> That's Bruce Campbell. <laughs> yeah. Notice how he's got the boomstick. He's yeah, got a he's boomstick boom in his right around, yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Oh, man. They throw little Easter eggs like that in there, man. That's what makes these things fun. There's a Super Soldier canvas. Those do feel just like the Upper Deck canvas. Just like it. Well, the cool thing about that set is it's a nine card set and it's a it's a puzzle and it shows all of them surrounding Dr. Doomsday. Oh nice. Or no, Thanoside. Which I don't think we've gotten a Thanoside yet. Here's something else they did. Um, they did these two little these subset cards that combine to form a battle between oh, sweet. the different superheroes. So you've got, uh, I think, um, Super Soldiers against Red or the Green Skull. You got Dark Claw versus the Hyena. So there's a few more in there. But uh, yeah, they, they kind of put through some of the elements of comics in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. So sure that did. it looks like a panel. Um, Here's the death of Bruce Wayne's parents. That's why he's a brooding teenage kid right now. Tell me, kid, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? This town needs an enema. <laughs> My favorite line from that movie. All right. Oh, there we go. Just Judgment League Avengers number four. Leading the way is Super Soldier. Um, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a... I've never really seen it. You, you, we've talked about it before. You told me about Yeah, it. I did a piece on it a couple of years ago. It was one of my first retro pieces, I think. And, uh, you know, just for people who, you know, maybe weren't aware of the product or... Sure. Um, were aware of it and just wanted to kind of reminisce and, and look at... Here is... Let's see. Who is this? Madam Cat. Is an amalgam of Viper... You may remember her from the Wolverine movie when he, uh, Logan goes to Japan and she was one of the main villains and uh, Catwoman. The Viper and the Catwoman. 
There's a Adventures of Spider Boy number 129. That's not a gold parallel, but it's got a gold foil on the back. Yeah. Uh, Punisher also made a huge debut in Daredevil this weekend. Yeah, I'm kind of. Or three months from now. I'm pretty pumped. And there's the baddie himself, Dr. Doomsday, in a canvas. Dr. Doomsday. A couple of packs left here. Let's yeah, see here. down to three. Me too. It's getting repetitive. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it does what, what these things do. These, you know, the age of overproduction, man. Right. It's what happens. Femmes Fatale. Pretty cool. I'm not even going to try to name them, but they're there. There's another Bruce Wayne of Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., his regular base card. The ah! There's the bat. There are a couple good ones. The base cards of Dark Claw and Thanoside. Thanoside? Thanoside. Thanos and Dark Side. Can't you just get a, like, a shot, clear that up? or? <laughs> I don't know. Here's I don't a, know if it's as easy as curing mutants. <laughs> Here's a canvas of Thanos side. That's pretty cool. This has got the he's got the infinities, the infinity symbols for the Infinity War. Yeah. Um, I think these do have a. Uh, yep, these are called Secret Crisis of the Infinity Hour. They combine those two storylines to make one storyline, and there you go. All right, last pack for me. Oh, we got a hollow picks of Magneto. Nice. Um, he's obviously combined with somebody else. I can't think of who it is. And there's another one. We've got the Black Bat, which is an amalgam of Batgirl and the Black Cat from the Marvel Universe. In my final pack, I got the Green Skull, who oddly enough looks like Walter White <laughs> with a bad stomach ache. He hates he he ate too much of uh, Gustavo's chicken. That's probably what happened. Here's Weapons X. That's a pretty nice little homage to that. There's a nice Power Blast foil of Secret Crisis of the Infinity Hour number seven with Super Soldier. And there's another there's another Super Soldier. I'm guessing the Ultra Metallo is the other half of that, but. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to throw the inserts, the hits that I got, just to kind of show all the wonderful variety that. I mean, it wasn't loaded with inserts, but I mean, it's it had cool. Ins I think I think the holograms are the yeah. the hardest to get. They might be two per box. In the nineties, three per box. The holograms were everything in the nineties, right? So. Yep. Hollow everything. Every it seemed like every set had a hologram in it. I'm point. sure somebody right now has a like a, a McDonald's Michael Jordan hologram that they think is worth tens of thousands of dollars. Yep. It isn't, folks. I'm sorry to break your bubble, but uh, it was back in the nineties, but yeah. not now. Yeah. <laughs> so you know that was pretty cool. We do these uh, retro busters, you know, pretty regularly now. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of fun doing them. This is a set that I was really interested in, Matt. Uh, purchase it and brought it in on his own. I am working on trying to get a box of DC versus Marvel. Awesome. Uh, that's another product. Uh, the boxes are a little pricier, but they do have one of the most iconic trading cards in non sports that shows uh, the Hulk versus Superman. There you go. That's pretty cool stuff. So, yeah. hope we can get that out for you. Uh, if not, guys, check this video out. It is, it is a lot of fun. If you can find a box of this and you, know, you have young kids that like it, pick up a box. Wasn't too bad, was it? No. Leave us a comment at the bottom yeah. of the video. Tell us who you'd love to see as two superheroes combined. And it doesn't have to be, you know, limited to DC Marvel. It could be any any of the comic companies that are out there, the, the more obscure comics. and Or tell us what, what uh, DC versus Marvel matchup you'd like to see. Just, you know. That would be pretty cool. Tell us how you feel. All right, guys. So until next time, I'm Eric. And I'm Matt. Just keep ripping.